In the past, I may have been unfair to Micro Four Thirds not giving them a chance. When they wanted to swim ashore, I would put my foot on their head, hoping that they would drink the ocean water and dehydrate themselves and learn how to autofocus. But apparently, they have been working in the shed. They did some stuff. I thought Micro Four Thirds was not even an option anymore, but it might have surpassed full frame technology. You better be tracking me. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So yesterday I take the Panasonic GH6 out with my Leica 200 mil prime, just expecting pure magic and kittens to just come out from the forest and pose for me. Magical things did happen, but the user error was real this day. Side review within the review, we're on the GH6 12 mil Tony 2 Olympus lens, a light bar has been sent by Freewell. I thought I said no to that, by the way, Freewell. I said, no, I don't want to review that or this thing. <laughs> Nobody needs another RGB light in their life. But this is the thing I was going to review. Look at it. Oh, just a little magnetic. Oh, that's fun. It's a blue streak filter. So thank you, Freewell. They're available down below. That's not distracting, it's good. So first shot of the day, Satan himself slithering across the ground, hoping to deceive you. I saw a snake, I freaked out and panicked. I was like, oh my God, a snake. This is 4K 120p. I went to get a little closer, he moved, I panicked. I had seven heart attacks and then he stopped in a bush under poor lighting conditions. Thanks, snake, but whatever. You don't know that that was a snake related injury. Be real with yourself. So terrible, poor shade, but we got a Leica 2.8 here. So here's the interesting thing. 4K 120p, nice, full frame, no crops. And then boom, HD 120p with pixel to pixel for the dramatic punch in. Now I'm aware that it looks like utter trash. It's noisier than a birthday party where a kangaroo is the special guest. Kids love kangaroos. Now let's just talk a little math here. What you just witnessed, in 4K 120p there's no crop, so the sensor size is actually bigger than Sony FX30's 4K 120p. I'm just throwing that out there. If you do pixel to pixel in 4K 120p, which just crops the 5.3K into 4K one-to-one -one readout, so you're not losing quality, you're losing light, gathering abilities, but it's a 1.41 times crop. I've measured it. Perfect distance. So your new crop factor is 2.82, which brings us to slightly smaller than a one inch sensor. Ouch. And then you can do HD 120p in an HD crop, which is a 3.01 times, coupling with the micro four third effect. We have a 6.02 times crop, which I looked it up. There is no sensor small enough to even compare it to. It's smaller than the one point over two point thirds that you see in a GoPro, the old GoPro. It's bigger now, taller, your mom's taller. Now here's where the first bit of user error hit us real and fast. I was like, I cannot focus for the life of me what the hell is happening. This was 4K 120p, the stick is sharp. I couldn't judge the peaking. And then here's the HD crop. See, it doesn't look bad, it's just a little noisy. That is so fantastic. He was in for a second. So let me tell you about the two user error tragedies that almost ruined our lives. One, I did not set the diopter of the viewfinder when I first got the camera. That's on me hard. I was looking through that viewfinder and I'm like, I can't tell. It doesn't, nothing looks sharp. I fixed it, it's better, not great. I'm coming from a Sony a7S III viewfinder that's clearer than the crystals of light in like before angels are born. It's so, it's like an optical viewfinder, nine million dots. They cheaped out hard on this GH6 one. It's a 3.6, why? Just little things like that. It's always something It's like, it's really hard to judge focus. Thank you. What makes it even harder 
is when you dive into the menu expecting to see Panasonic's perfect linear set. You can set the degree of your focus throw. I've been waiting for this to perfect it. I look in the menu, it's grayed out. I'm like, why? What am I in? I realized that I needed a firmware for my, just, the lesson is always download the latest firmware. Unless it just came out, then it might ruin your life. But I must say the 4K 120p, it's brilliant. It's beautiful. It's, I'm not seeing the difference now between like this and what a full frame might be. Yes, my friend is out of focus for the last half hour of that shot, but I redeemed myself. I redeemed myself good. That's Discovery Camera. You go subscribe to him right now. That disappointing look he gave at the end, that was you not subscribing. So don't make a kid sad at Christmas. It was just, I was comparing the Sony a7S III to my Olympus with their terrible codex, and I was like, you know what? Micro Four Thirds, it's not as good as full frame. Like, it's, it's nice that it's light and cheaper, but it's not comparing. I bet you it compares now. From what I'm seeing, I'm like, this is not bad footage. I'm gonna compare it to the Sony, but when I see this, I'm like, that is sharp. I love the colors, the contrast, beautiful, the stabilization, smooth as silk silk pillowcases. This guy, what's he doing in the woods? That doesn't look safe. I found a photographer in the woods. His friends were laughing at him because he's a loser photographer taking pictures and they were about to plot his, like, how do we kill him? Can we ditch his body somewhere in the woods? And she was like, I think we could. It's just, he does drive us home. Like, what are we, how are we gonna get home? I switched into 300 frames per second as the loser photographer turned around realizing he was a target of a attempted death. And here it is punching into that HD 120 pixel to pixel crop. It's like, I was right. They were so far away. And then she looked over at me. I was like, oh, no, oh, I'm not filming you. Oh God, she sees me. That's the only hard part about doing this slow motion filming human stuff. It's like, I feel like they don't want to be filmed and they're gonna be like, hey, what are you doing? Why are you filming me, creep? It's like, you're magical, don't you know? I could be putting you to slow motion music. You could be a star more than you are now. I'm helping you. That lady was looking right at me. I don't know how she saw me. You have any idea how far these people are away? That's a 1200 mil lens. I could barely see them. How did they know I was up there looking at them? Oh, what a family. You should bring the daughter. Why aren't you bringing the daughter? You do realize you left the girl behind. Here's my friend Geet. He's a Sony shooter, but he only shoots with Tamron lenses and I didn't want to be seen next to him. So I went as far back as I could and I punched into a 300 frames per second and I told him to jump and he did. I was hoping that his Tamron lens would snap off the mount, but unfortunately it's rock solid. They, they're metal mounts nowadays, it's not plastic. The shots he took I'm sure were just disgusting today. I, definitely would not recommend you subscribing to his Instagram. It's not good. Smart placement on that light, by the way. Uh, I'm just thanking myself in advance. That was good. That's good. And look, once you're in the industry for a while, you pick up a couple tricks. I'll let you know sometime. So all I gotta say, that 300 frames per second, it's totally usable. I've seen a bunch of trash footage, but they weren't using the Leica 200 mil in somewhat decent light. It's soft. It's not like real HD, but totally happy with it. It's not great, but like there's no issues. Fuji with their 240p, it's like, what is that? I think it's something to do with X-Trans and stacking it. A stacked X-Trans sensor, that's where the noise patterns got fluctuated. Bad things happened. 300 frames per second on the GH6 is similar to other companies 240p like it's good enough it's totally usable and there's nothing weird looking about it it's just like yeah it's kind of soft could you sharpen it up probably probably but i'm totally happy with that that's leading the industry 300 frames per second in a mirrorless body it's pure and utter magic it's too fantastic to even imagine i wish you could also do the pixel to pixel crop on it that's all I'm begging for, Panasonic, please. Let us use that pixel to pixel mode in 300, at least 240p. I thought I had it, that slipped through my fingers. Only 120 is allowed, that really hurts. But I tell you, this thing's a pleasure to shoot with. 
that custom four mode? Do you even understand what you're allowed to do now in Panasonic? You have custom one, two, three on a dial. You don't have to hold it in and twist it, by the way, Sony. Once you get to the fourth one, Panasonic lets you keep 10 custom modes and you can name each one of them. And it's a simple switch. All you do, press the back button and then down and then you're in. Once you're in four, it's just boom, boom, in. So I have a whole bunch of them set up for like human faces and then an animal section. So I got my 4K 120p and then the pixel to pixel crop in that and then a super crop with the 120 and then the slowest possible with 300. I do a 240 just in case and then a 4K 60 with dynamic range boost on. I haven't even tried that yet. I just set it up. The only problem, however, is those custom modes. It's not really a problem. It's probably a good thing, but I should be allowed to have them change automatically. If I change a setting, let it save or don't. Right now, I don't see that option. If it's there, let me know. But it's, if you wanna change one setting, like I do right now, I wanna change my linear focus to be less sensitive. I need to do that. I have to go now do that for 10 custom modes and save each one. It takes me like half an hour. I saw some kid trying to fish a salmon. Was that a salmon? I think it is. It's that time of year. Salmon are doing their run up the river and this thing was huge. I can't guarantee that was a salmon. I'm, I'm not really very smart in any category on this earth, but especially not fish species. But <laughs> that salmon was like, I'm not gonna bite that, you moron. I'm just hiding here from you. I'm waiting for you to leave. He was a tiny kid too. That salmon would have pulled him right in the river. I would have filmed it. I just went out to do a little comparison with the 200 mil prime versus the 50 to 200 and the Olympus 75 to 300. So we'll get to see the differences and you'll be surprised. Last thing that's really annoying me lately is for some reason Panasonic gives you four channels of audio with every video. Can that be turned off? I would love to turn it off. I'm so tired of seeing four levels in DaVinci. I gotta delete three of them and then I go to work. It's just like an annoyance. Why is that there? Who would ever need it? Professionals? Those are losers. Last complaint actually was battery life. I feel like I'm charging this thing constantly. There's one in there right now charging. I just went out for a short walk and it's over with. I don't know, it doesn't seem very good. It's a full frame battery. So thank you Freewell for the light bar and filter thing, magnetic by the way. I don't mind that. Comes with a little mist attachment I think. Don't quote me on that. That might've been a special offer for me. And thank you Panasonic for redeeming yourself, not necessarily in the autofocus region, I haven't tried animal eye detect. We will. There's a lot of stuff to get to. 4K 60p dynamic range boost on animal eye detect. I can't even imagine it like a 200. But so far so good. I much prefer this to the Fuji for some reason. Even the colors for YouTube. Everything about it. The stabe. The image. Just the quality. The non-quirks. Not as much quirks. I'm going to leave. Buy everything through the affiliate links twice if you could. One is a gift. That way I get an extra $14. Huh? Worth it? I'm gonna go after you subscribe.